Lady Drissel, how much longer until the roads are reopened? At this rate, we won't be able to stay in business much longer. Please, everyone calm down. The guards have been shaken by all the instability. They've retreated to Fort Gondala and put it on lockdown. I've been trying to reach the military headquarters, but I haven't been able to establish contact yet. We don't have time to wait. Our losses are already catastrophic. If we don't do something soon, Sherilton will be doomed. I... I'll do something. I promise. If only Lord Klein were still here. Uh, stop bullying Drissel! Ellie, Rowan, you're all here. We couldn't help but over here. Perhaps we can be of some assistance. No, this is something I need to handle myself. It's my duty as Klein's successor. Your determination is laudable, but you are slightly mistaken. Not you two! I know I'm not capable enough, but I still have to try. We know you're doing your best, milady. We do. However, this isn't just about business anymore. With the roads shut down, there are people who are struggling merely to survive. Then it seems our only option is to invade Fort Gondola. But what about the golems that protect it? I thought they were invincible. Yes. Within the right spirit climb, a golem's defense power is absolute. However... In the wrong spirit climb, their defensive power would be diminished. Correct. And we now know of a way to change a spirit climb ourselves. So if we use a booster like they did at Fezabel Marsh... We stand a real chance at victory. So if we just need a booster, why not use the same one we used at Fezabel Marsh? I'm afraid it was swept away by the marsh flow. What about Tipo? Tipo is a special type. I'm afraid we couldn't use him for this. We'll need to find a different booster. I'm so sorry to have failed you! Wait! Mila! Remember when they captured Tipo at Fort Gandala? That's right. Noctical was conducting booster experiments right there at the fort. There should be plenty of boosters within its confinements. And if we can get our hands on one, we can take out the golems. So the key that we need to break into the fort is hidden within the fort itself. Oh dear. We certainly have our work cut out for us. We'll be going there anyway. This way we kill two birds with one stone. But I can't expose you all to danger, just for the sake of my city. You're mistaken again. Your determination should be used precisely for that purpose. Lady Drissel, each of us has our own role to play. For a governor, it's showing your people the right path, and taking responsibility for those who walk it. You're... you're right. Now, Lady Drissel of House Cheryl, we await your order. Very well. As the new governor, I hereby ask you to retake Fort Gondala. For the good of Sherylton. Yes, my lady. Leave it to us! Why would they have guards out if the golems are functional? No one is able to feel fully secure once fear has overtaken them. This should work to our advantage. Perhaps we can convince them to tell us where the boosters are kept. Devious! Do this right and we'll be done in a flash. deactivate the golems this way, you know. Who said anything about deactivation? We're going to destroy them! You're kidding, right? Jokes were never my strong suit. Uh... Would you be so kind as to tell us where the boosters are kept? They... they should be in control room 02. Do we know where that is? It's a spare control room located opposite from the one we visited earlier. Got it. Let's go.
Let's sneak into Fort Gondala and try to find a booster. That seems to be our only hope of defeating the golems. Here we go. Boosters. Ah, this is indeed the same type of booster that was used at Fezabel Marsh. If we can use this to change the spirit climb, the golem's defensive power should plummet. Kind of like a golem inhibitor. Hey, a golem inhibitor! Do you even know what that means? Not a clue. So how do we use it? Leave that to me. Very well. Then let's crush some golems. The golems should be guarding the gate to the main passageway. Now we shall put an end to them. Dead ahead. And two more behind us! Four golems at once. Truly a rock and a hard place. No, it's four birds with one stone. They've saved us the trouble of hunting them down. <laughs> it's impossible to get discouraged with Mila around. Agreed. We're much stronger than we were before. Let's do this! You said it. Rowan. On it. Activating the Golem Inhibitor. One, understood. Ground Breaker! Right. 
We're invincible. How did this happen? Rashikal is done for. Is that all you have to say after holding yourselves up here without permission? You should be ashamed. We were doing it for our country. Rashikal's military assets must be protected. Do you truly believe that abandoning the citizens you serve strengthens your country? I... well... Wait. Are you Chief of Staff Hilbert? No, but I used to be. You all are the military of today. And as such, it is your duty to figure out what needs to be done. Understood. The Fort Gondola Guards will reopen the fort immediately. We will resume patrolling the high roads and protecting civilian activities. That takes care of that. That should be a load off your cell shoulders. And we've made it through Fort Gondola at last. Yeah, what an ordeal. Let's get back to Dressel. We have to tell her how great you were.
Thank goodness you all made it back. Is anyone hurt? We're fine, my lady. As you can see, we couldn't be healthier. We kicked ten tons of golem butt! Oh, I'm so relieved. You were worried about us? Of course. I don't know what I would have done if you had gotten hurt on my behalf. Facing that pain is one of the gravest duties of leadership. It sure isn't easy. No, it is not. But as long as you feel pain at the suffering of your people, they will always be there to support you. I'll do my best, just as Klein did. It might be difficult, but we know you can do it. I'm sorry I can't give you the rewards you deserve. Wait, I know. I'll brew up some of my finest tea. Come, let's have a tea party. <laughs> I couldn't ask for a finer reward. Throw in some of those little cakes and you've got a deal!
my stomach seems to be empty again. Again with this one. Good performance, but terrible fuel efficiency. That roast chicken looks amazing. Just looking at it is making me salivate. Sorry, Mila, but you can't have any. I'm sure it's for someone's birthday. How can you tell? Here on the island, it's a tradition to celebrate one's birthday with our special chicken Laurent. The chicken is stuffed with pilaf, which mixes with the chicken's juices, and it's just delicious. Oh, I'm drowning in my own saliva just thinking about it. It must be a very special dish to the people of Laurent. Then you must have eaten this on your birthdays as well. Yeah, a long time ago. Not recently? Well, lately I've been living in Fenmont, and before that, Leia would try to deliver it to me, but she tripped and dropped it for three years straight. Three years straight? What a waste. It, it wasn't on purpose. It's just the more I tried to be careful not to trip, the more I ended up tripping. <laughs> that does sound like something Leia would do. I'm really sorry. I only tried to deliver it because I wanted to see you happy. I know. Every year you were always the person who got the most excited about my birthday. <laughs> yeah. For my birthday this year, I hope we can all enjoy Chicken Laurent together. I'll ask my dad to make it extra good. I greatly look forward to the occasion. As do I. It can't come soon enough. Please, calm down. We need to deal with this rationally. Mom, what's going on? Jude, there's been a cave-in at the mine. What? But I thought the mine was closed. Not anymore. We thought we'd found a new vein, and we were just beginning to explore it. Was there anyone trapped inside? Well, one of our miners is trapped, and... And your father. Dr. Mathis? Jude, what should we do? We'll save them, of course. We're rounding up people to head to the mine right now. Wait, if you rush in there without knowing what caused the first cave-in, you could get caught in one too. We know it's dangerous, but we owe Dr. Mathis our lives. Which is why he wouldn't want you to waste them on a suicide mission. <sighs> first, we'll go check out what happened. Don't worry, I've been through that entire mine. Jude is right. Let us handle this. Okay, be careful in there. Quickly, to the Felgana mine! Please let Dad be okay. You picked the wrong fight.
dead. Jude, is that you? You've hurt your eyes. It's nothing. I just got some rock dust in them during the cave-in. Never mind me. He needs help. He's unconscious. It looks like he hit his head on a rock. Don't move him. There's internal bleeding in his brain. Fortunately, the cave-in wasn't too big. Gnome says it won't collapse further. Got it. Leia, head back to the clinic and get ready to receive the patient. What about you? I'm going to treat him using healer. It's dangerous to move him like this. You're going to try and stop cranial bleeding with healer? If you make a mistake, you'll kill him instantly. I know, but I have to do it. <sighs> if only I could see properly. It's okay. This is my decision to make. Jude. We'll leave him in Jude's hands. Leia, get to town as soon as you can. On my way. All right, here we go. The miner's condition is stabilized. And it looks like I can see again. <sighs> I was really on pins and needles there. The miner said to thank you for saving him. You did well, Jude. Oh, no, I didn't do anything special. You all have things you need to do. You shouldn't be wasting any more time here. Jeez, Doc. Don't get all sentimental or anything. I'm afraid we'll be taking Jude with us again. You don't need to ask my permission. He can make his own decisions now. Jude, your judgment was absolutely correct. Dad. Take care. He's changed, hasn't he? Ah, he just learned to do what he should have already been doing. You said the same thing when he first learned how to walk and talk. And you look just as proud then as you do now. Of course. Who wouldn't be proud to see their child grow? Oh no! I think I left something at the clinic! What did you lose? It was, um, kind of like a notebook. I gotta go pick it up! Fine, let's go take a look when we get the chance. How is she, Doc? My sister will be able to walk again someday, right? Right? Calm down, Soren. To cut to the point, yes. If Marna has surgery, she'll be able to walk again. Really? All right! The problem is the post-surgical recovery. She will require extensive physical therapy. Will it hurt? Enough to make even a grown-up cry. That's not what I heard. They said you could use some sort of machine to make her walk again. I don't know where you heard that. No such machine exists. Don't worry. I know you can get through it. I was hurt badly when I was a kid, too. But thanks to Dr. Mathis's physical therapy, I'm as good as new. Really? Yep. And don't I look great now, if I do say so myself? If anything, she's got too much energy. Leia told me how hard her physical therapy was. Yeah, that's why she's so happy to help someone else through it. Do you know how Leia got hurt? Not really. She told me it was a Spyrex explosion. The physical therapy really was extraordinarily hard. But Leia never gave up. You know, she told me it was you that... Uh... Hmm? Never mind. That was just... Girl talk. Dr. Mathis may seem like kind of a jerk, but he's a great doctor. Believe in him and work hard. <sighs> Jude, if you're back in town, why not rest here a bit? Your mother will be thrilled. I see.
So that's what those kids from this afternoon came here for. So, what are you going to do? Nothing. I disposed of them in the old Vakal mine. I won't ever let that tragedy happen again. It's not your fault, Doc. After all, you saved her life. At the old Vakal mine, huh? You need help with anything? It's nothing. Is something wrong? We haven't seen Soren all day. He's not one to leave his sister's side. Maybe we should look for him. Wait a minute. Do you know where he is? Last night he said something about the old Vakal mine. What? That place is infested with monsters! Are you sure that's where he went? No, I'm not. But we can't ignore the possibility that he did. We gotta get to the old Vakal mine! Jude, do you think we can eat those mushrooms? No. No, we can't. Hey, look! It's got a sword on its tail! How dare it have the same weapon as me! 
I suggest not underestimating you. What? Are you saying my skills are weaker than this beast? Leia, I advise you to redirect that anger towards the enemy instead. Fine. I'll show you all who's boss. Oh, critical. Meteoric man. Demon fist. So I'm here. Watch out, everyone. Provide support. Here you go. My stomach seems to be empty again. When do we eat? Again with this one. Hello Good performance, there. but terrible fuel efficiency. I suggest not underestimating you. 
What? Are you saying my skills are weaker than this piece? Mayor, I advise you to redirect. That anger towards the enemy and... Now, 
There he is. These must be the machines Dr. Mathis was hiding. Marna will be walking in no time with this. Wait, those are Spyrex. Soren, get away from those! Huh? 
But I need these. I said get away! It's dangerous! No way! I'm impressed you could anticipate that. I just remembered my old accident. That was how I got hurt when I was a kid. I was playing with the Spyrex in the docks room when it blew up, like that one did just now. That was how you got injured? Why did Dad have something so dangerous? Oh no. No way. It's not my place to tell you. You'll have to ask Derek yourself. You're the one who hid those Spyrexes in the old Vakal mine, aren't you? Why did you have them in the first place? Because I'm not from here. I came to Riza Maxia from Olympias 20 years ago. Derek was a passenger on the Zenithra, just like I was. After wandering throughout this world, I decided to settle down here after I met your mother. Then that would make me... Half Riza Maxian and half Olympian. You must be pretty shocked, huh? Actually, not really. Hmm. Huh. Didn't see that reaction coming. Is a medical Aspirixis just a Spyrix, then? They're similar, yet very different. Aspirixis are modified to channel the mana produced by one's mana lobe. They don't kill spirits, but as you know, there's a separate price to pay. Having to endure the physical pain. I only learned that Spyrexes kill spirits after I came to Riza Maxia. Once I knew the truth, I could no longer use Spyrexes in good conscience. But Dad, we found another option. If you create a Spyrite, you don't have to worry about Spyrexes killing spirits anymore. A Spyrite? I see. If Spyrites become commonplace, the downside of Spyrexes goes away. But for that to happen, Riza Maxia and Olympias will need to find common ground and work together. That will take a great deal of time and effort. Neither the pain of physical therapy nor the effort required for mutual understanding are easy to endure. There is always a cost required of any major undertaking. That much is true, no matter which world you're from. Yeah. I want to try physical therapy. I don't want Soren running off and getting himself hurt because of me. That's great! Soren, make sure to support her, okay? I know. Don't worry. I've got this. Leia, I'm so sorry. If I had only stored the Spyrex properly, you would never have been hurt. It's fine, really. If I hadn't gotten hurt, I would have never gotten to know Jude. Certainly not well enough to fill a hundred pages of notes about him. Mila! What are you talking about? Nothing! Never mind. That was just... girl talk. 